everyone, Kathy back here. Uh, today I'm just showing you the results of my uh, enclosed rattles. And then we're going to do a little show and tell of everything I got back from my uh, kiln firing uh, yesterday. So we'll start out with the rattles because this is kind of a follow up to that video. Um, I know I showed you this is the the one I made with the enclosed heart form and then I added a handle with the word shake stamped into it and then I, I glazed it so I was in a purple and uh, see I did this this was like a violet uh, velvet underglaze I think and this was a jungle gems color in case you're curious uh, but it turned out really cute and it rattles still really nice here's the one I did for my granddaughter Emma uh, you can see the butterfly I could have used a little more but I'm gonna I'm gonna be adding um, some color to that I bought these uh, they're Duncan sparklers brush on glitter Hey guys, all my soap makers know I love uh, glitter. So I bought these, I'm gonna brush on as an accent to some of these. But anyway, I've got the, uh, the crystal glitter and gold glitter. So I'll be adding some touches to some of this stuff with some glitter. But it uh, turned out really cute. You can see the unicorn on the back and a butterfly on the front. Turned out adorable. And then uh, here's another one with the butterflies. I got one on each side, half a butterfly and the full butterfly. And then this is just a plain heart, but uh, this one, it, and it's strange, you know, they, they each rattle a little different. Uh, very cool though, love them, love them. And then these are our two enclosed forms I made uh, using the same glazes and then I also added a underglaze transfer in the butterfly to each of these so they turned out really cute as well just practicing my form you know on doing some of these uh, enclosed forms so th that's that's those that's the the follow-up part to this video uh, now I'm going to do uh, show you some of the other things I made uh, starting with this tray, actually. <laughs> this tray I made using um, resin, colored resin, swirled together. I added some little acrylic uh, uh, bits in here, and then I had some uh, resin uh, seahorses I made, and put a little gemstone heart in there, and glitter, and uh, it turned out really cute. I really like this tray. Excuse me. Uh, anyway, on with the show and tell. Uh, we'll start here with the big stuff. Uh, these are planters I made for my lemon trees. I did a little saucer to go underneath. This one's got a ginkgo leaf on it to go with the ginkgo vase. Now this vase I made, I glazed only the inside. Excuse my laundry's going. It's going to get a little loud here. It's on spin cycle. Go figure. Anyway, I put the underglaze decals on and then I cleared it, clear glazed it. Um, on the inside because that's going to be in contact with water uh, but the outside I put the decals on but I left it as raw clay and I just love the feel of like bisque clay it's just it's a really cool feeling so anyway one of my lemon trees is going to go in this uh, in this planter uh, and then I, I did another one, and the black on these kind of smudged a little, these transfers, but that's okay. Um, they're for me. <laughs> so I put a little butterfly on that saucer, and then around the inside rim of this planter, you see the shape, and I've got my drainage holes. So that will be for another lemon tree. This one, I think I'm going to give to Emma for one of her lemon trees. She's got a few that are growing and will need repotting soon. So I made this this planter. It's an all-in-one kind of a planter with the, the saucers attached. And I used the underglaze, a few different underglaze transfers, just for fun. So that one she'll probably get. Uh, I made something called a wall button. 
Uh, I've got a hole in the back for hanging, but uh, you can see the shape. And used some dragonfly and fern underglaze transfers on there. Really cute. Uh, this was uh, the rattle I made in memory of my son. Uh, it's a rattle, tabletop rattle. Um, and uh, it's got his name on one side with angel wings. And I put a butterfly on the other side. And I do have his birth date and death date on these. But uh, anyway, it turned out really lovely. I love it, love it, love it. It's going to go on. I have a hall table with like all his pictures. Well, not all of them, but some of his pictures and some angels and things. So that's going to go on there. And then this I made for a neighbor who moved away uh, from being across the street. She still lives in town, but she wanted me to make a replacement bowl for a piece that she has. So that's what I did for her. And she likes it, so we'll have to get that to her. Uh, this, okay, these are, this, these are some of my favorites. These bowls, this is a pot, uh, no drainage or anything. It's just a little pot. And I used stencils, these uh, plastic stencils, to carve into the pot when it was almost leather hard, a design. And I did it on the other side as well. I'm a big hummingbird fan. And then I used underglaze uh, after bisking uh, to dot different colors into the design. And then I painted uh, with underglaze the black eye and beak. Same thing over here, used different colors on the wing. I made him a ruby-throated hummingbird because that's what we have here. Um, and some flowers. And it just turned out really cute. Really, really cute. Really happy with that. Um, another one of my favorites is another unglazed pot on the outside. See how lovely it fits in my hands. <laughs> I glazed it on the inside in case I want to use it as a vase. And then I used uh, stroke and coat glazes and, and a velvet underglaze on the purple. But uh, on a little butterfly, so cute. And then on the other side, I had carved a little design, so I, I brushed in some color on that and wiped it away uh, to leave just the color in the design. And then uh, it got fired, and it just turned out really, really adorable. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And let's see, okay, here's my multi purpose piece. Now, I was going for like a chip and dip on one side, a small one, as you can tell. You could use it for soup and crackers or say tomato soup and some grilled cheese sandwiches around the outside cut up. That would be cute, whatever you want. And then you have a, like a matching vase, right? Or you flip the vase upside down and you flip this upside down and you've got a little miniature cake stand. And I thought that turned out pretty cool for my first one. See, I'm learning, guys. You know, I'm, I'm teaching myself these cool things. And I love the lemons and the butterflies. I think it's just so bright and cheery. So anyway, I was, I was really happy with that. And then the rest are, are garden... Uh, bell wind chimes and sun catchers and I have yet to put them together but uh, I'll just show you this one's decorated with crazy cats it's an underglaze transfer this one has puppy dogs very cute and I've got owls on this one and I kind of f like fluted out the edges on this one to make it a little different just trying a different design and then the, I made two of these with lemons on them. And then uh, we call the pièce de résistance, or my little garden bell chimes. Um, now I used Sam Bow Studios has these beautiful, like lacy floral uh, types of transfers. And so I cut strips and went around the bells. They're all glazed. And then underneath the bell are going to hang let me get them all in my I have them in different sizes so each bell is going to have these five different they're almost like little raindrops hanging below it um, they're going to have one of these beads I made 
which I'm not sure yet whether I'm going to put it on top or use it as like a clapper. And then on the very top here, I made this little like a flowery thing to put on the top. So I might have it like that in one of these here, or I might have this underneath as a clapper. Haven't decided yet. When I start putting them together, that's when I'll decide. But it's going to be a really cute little garden bell wind chime. So that's my little show and tell. I hope you enjoyed it. And I didn't bore you too terribly. Um, but uh, like I said, these, these turned out just gorgeous. Love them, love them. All of my pieces, all of my rattles, which I really enjoy. Even, you know, even in my soap video I did, the hot process soap, I was calling them bells. Enclosed bells. I think I have bells on the brain. But anyway, they are rattles. <laughs> they have little clay balls in them. And uh, they're fun to make. Very easy. So if you're into ceramics and doing hand building and stuff, you should try uh, try to make some of these one time. But uh, anyway, that's it. that's it for me for today. And uh, hope you enjoyed my little show and tell. I'm going to go back to drinking my morning coffee because it's like five in the morning. Um, but uh, anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll catch you again on a future video. Okay, everybody have a great weekend. Bye for now.